Good morning, everyone. I hope you can hear me with some clarity, see me with some clarity as we share this time together today. What a blessing. What a blessing this service is today. There's just such a fullness in this music of ginger, in the words that are being shared, in the thoughts as they carry through the ages. The reading today from the Vedas, translated from Sanskrit into English, retaining the beauty and the holiness of these words. And the invitation today that we're offering is to, to step away from the, the business of life and the business of church and just have a few moments in the space of the beauty of the holiness that is all of these things, as Ginger just sang to us, breathe, 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 breathe. And here we are together. And in this last couple of weeks, we have been pervaded by the energy of the skies, paying attention, focusing our energies, opening our hearts to the sun and the moon, Mars and Venus, light, grace, and heaven and earth. And in this union, in this union of holiness, that we are the blessing that is being received. So some of us had all different kinds of experiences with this eclipse, but the energy that was being brought to us was this full swath of energy across the entire North America, blending out to the outer edges of the coasts on either side and inviting the power of the uniting of the energy of light and love to be one at the same time, the energy of light, the energy of the masculine and the feminine, the energy of love and wholeness. And so in the center, as we called it, the totality, there was a very strong and powerful energy of coming into a complete moment of wholeness where the divine feminine was completely carried into the world into the United States, into North America, we felt these three to four minutes of this holy blessing where the divine feminine supported by the powerful divine masculine was placing itself in the center of our life. The moon and the sun uniting in their energies together and then on the earth side, we were delivered the moon, the feminine, the grace, the peace, the darkness, the quiet. As the sun never stopped shining, as the sun never needed itself to be announced in those moments, the power and the strength of the masculine energies holding with divine honoring and divine blessing, the space of the energy that we are here asking for as a country and as a world. Bless us with the gentleness that exists within all of us and hold us strong with the light. And in those two energies, we find today the blessing of the holiness of the union of all things. And we know that there are no things outside of God. We know that all is the unified presence within the oneness and wholeness. We know that we too have within us what we're talking about here is not men and women, but we're talking about masculine and feminine presence. We're talking about that which draws straight lines and that which informs with great watery fluidity. We need both 
to find our way in this life. And sometimes we find ourselves caught in the business of life, the busyness of life, the power of walking a straight line or making decisions or speaking into our strength. And sometimes we really, really need to be bathed in the blessing of the feminine. And this day, on this day, I was in California walking, and my, my eclipse experience was not a totality, but it was a powerful, fascinating moment when the way to look at an eclipse when you don't have all the right equipment is to let the trees and the dappled light show you what's happening in the sky. And so I went for a walk and I looked down to the ground and I could feel the eclipse energy, but it wasn't a, a strong darkness. It was just an energy. And I looked down and I started to see all these moon shapes. And then just after that, I noticed as I stepped further into the shade and the dappled light that the moon shapes came together in a great heart in the center of the light of this tree. And then all around me, I could feel emanating from the sky down through the leaves, through the breath of the tree that I was breathing with, the sidewalk was covered with hearts. It was the most outstanding moment. It didn't have anything to do with what everyone else might have been looking at. And I thought perhaps I was having some kind of out of body or out of mind experience. And I kept trying to find a way to get a picture of it, but it really wasn't so possible. All of these hearts, imagine as we're sitting here today, close your eyes for a moment and imagine a tree just above you a great old ancient tree breathing with you in and out in the opposite flow and then letting all of the heart energy come down and softly dappling you, softly loving you. What is it? It's the permeating forces that allow us to be so fulfilled that we just flow with this great energy, we give this great energy and we are so full that the whole world is quote unquote enlightened in our giving. We can easily move between generosity, kindness, care, stability, strength, and power. And in the wholeness of every moment, we breathe. Our first food is breathe. Take that gentle depth and breathe. We receive the gentle touch of the time of the moon. We know the st strong and stationary stability of the power of the sun. In this, uh, in this holy moment, we are filled with both our power and our light, our sensitivity and our care. We are calling forward a gentler, kinder totality where the feminine is holding the masculine while the masculine holds the feminine. And as we fully feel the embrace of the shifting energy, the softening fullness, as I feel that softening fullness as I walk along with the trees dropping hearts all around me, I am emboldened, listen for the emboldenment within you that it is truly with this loving that we walk with clarity, possibility, flowing, flowing fully behind and allowing the feminine presence and the masculine presence to walk as one all standing in the fullness of who we are, all of us in the divine combination of love. There is always unity and there is always power in our unity. And whatever is needed in any moment where we will be guided to step forward in that power. And so for today and for now, we have the sun and the moon, the stars and the sky 
the effervescent, ever-flowing universe always within us and in the flow. Thank you. Thank you for your blessing today. Thank you for allowing these words to come through in the strangest way, perhaps, but hopefully still touching the depth of our hearts. Let us pray for this community, knowing that all is well. All is beautifully unfolding in this service. And this this annual meeting that is coming after this service is such a joyful celebration of kindness and care, of love, of community, of how this community is reaching around itself, holding itself in great love, lifting each and every one into the holiness of this moment. We bless this, we see this, we know this, and we receive this as the holiness of who each and every one of us are. And we say together, and so it is. So it is. Thank you, everyone who made this possible today.